welcome to another video. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul featuring all things crafty. Without further ado, let's get started. So I gotta say the Dollar Tree has really stepped up in the past few years. Their crafting section and I am such a happy girl when I go into that store and I see new things to help craft. I'm going to share a few of those things with you today. Um, I haven't seen all of these hauls. I've seen a few things, so some of them I'm sure you've seen before, but I hope maybe today you'll see some things that you haven't seen. I'm just going to start pulling things out of the bag and we can talk about them as we go. So the first item are these laser cut craft icon. I think icons, <laughs> that's what they're calling them anyway. Um, I've already opened these and used some of them, but I just thought they were so nice. Uh, for the most part, it looks like you get like six pieces of each of these, and they're just these laser cut, um, I guess they're wood, I mean they feel like wood, they're probably maybe, they could be like a light, a, I guess not a lighter wood, but like a softer wood, or maybe MDF, I'm not entirely sure. Depending on your store, they're going to have different, um, you know, icons as they're calling them. This is more of a floral stick together <laughs> this one is more like a floral theme so you got some really cute ones there this one is like floral and leaves kind of think about it that way this one um, different kinds of birds little birds there and then again another floral now these are the ones they had at the store that I went to but I have seen other people um, haul these and they have like word arts, um, they have like key ones. So I would just say if you're interested in these, go to your store, check them out. Now the last time I was there, this was from a couple of um, trips ago. The last time I was there, I didn't see these. So I think that they flew off the shelf, but you never know when they restock and get in new inventory. So if there's something that you, you like there, I would definitely go and try to find it. Next up, I have these galvanized numbers. They are a 10 piece set. I think these are just really nice. I can see myself using these in um, a, couple, a, couple, a couple of different projects. These have a really nice weight to them. They are those galvanized metal. And I went ahead and picked up a couple of packs of them. Again, a lot of these things are from a couple of trips ago, and so I haven't seen them in the most recent trip I went on. So again, if you're interested in these things, you kind of got to grab them while you can. Um, but I think these are really nice. I think now I've seen people posting like galvanized shapes and signs, so that's you know always good. Like I said, they're trying; to, they really are stepping up their game, and they're trying to incorporate new things. One of those things being this, I had never seen this air dry clay before. Uh, it says it takes 24 hours drying time approximate. I thought I would try this. I have some sort of DIY ideas um, for like some jewelry making ideas with the clay. And I wanted to see if I could try it with this clay. We'll see. I thought for a dollar it wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't bother me. You know, if, if it didn't work out, you know, if I spent a lot of money on clay and then it didn't work out, then I'd I'd feel a certain way. But I thought I would go ahead and try it with this. Um, and I think this would be really cute, you know, if you had, um, um, you know, kids' activities for the summertime. They could make their own figurines or, um, you know, whatever out of clay that they wanted to. So this would be a really good investment for that. And... Maybe you could use some of these next items with that clay. Um, they've really been getting it in, at least in my opinion, a lot of crafters tools that I think would be very useful. And so I picked up a few things. Um, I got these detailing scissors. They're just four inches. They're these tiny little things. Um, but as I'm trying to like DIY and um, do some like clothing things um, for myself, I thought these would be really really good especially like you know trying to get into little tight spaces or you know sometimes a um, what's the word like a seam ripper sometimes doesn't work um, for some projects so I thought that would be nice and then I don't know about you but anytime I use a glue gun I think I burned myself <laughs> and so I ended up getting these finger protectors 
they remind me a lot of um, thumb, like a thumb, is that what they're called? Thumbtacks or thumb, the things that you put on the end of the, your finger when you're sewing. I don't know what those are called now. Um, a th like a thimble, is that what they're called? A thimble? Again, I'm just blanking. But that's kind of what these remind me of. Um, uh, I thought the, those would be helpful. Um, again, I try, tend to hurt myself all the time. I'm literally trying <laughs> not to move my shoulder because I don't want to put that uh, brace back on. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos with it on, you'll probably understand why. Um, the next two items I have are this piercing and scoring tool set. It's a fine and medium point needles. I thought those would be um, sort of useful. I don't exactly know what I'm going to use them for, but I thought maybe for those uh, DIY jewelry ideas with the clay that they make came in handy. And then this one is an embossing stylus, I think it's called, embossing stylus. And it has just a, like a small point on one end and a larger ball point on the other end. And I thought that might be good. I've also seen uh, YouTubers and people use these for uh, painting and I thought that might be fun. So again, for a dollar, I thought I would try these two out and see if they worked. And then last but certainly not least on the tool arena is this scrap, it's called a Scraptility knife set, but it's essentially just like um, an interchange or an interchangeable little um, like craft knife. And I thought that would be really nice, again, for different projects, um, cutting paper, scoring something, lots of different uses. I'm sure you all can think, you all can think of uh, more uses than I can, but I went ahead and picked one of these up and I'm looking forward to using it. Kind of reminds me of my scalpel days, <laughs> um, but uh, definitely not fit for that, but <laughs> definitely for crafting. I also found some of these really nice metallic markers. Now these either are acid free. All these are a fine, fine tip point, but I found they had a lot more colors. These are just ones that I was kind of drawn to. Um, I like the two sort of pinky ones and then that blue one I just thought were really pretty. I don't know if they actually have names on them, but um, I'm calling them, like this is like a, a dark pink. <laughs> This is more of like a, uh, maybe like a coppery pink. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me anyway. And then this one's just like a blue. It says they're good for card making, scrapbooking, DIY projects. And that's exactly what I plan on using them for. I just really like those colors. Um, so I thought I would try them out. And then right beside them was this chalk writer. Um... And I've heard good things about these chalk writing pens, so I'm hoping that that's a good, uh, that this one works. It says it's wet erasable, great for chalkboards, dry erase boards, windows, glass, mirror, ceramic, and metal. Um, again, this is my first time using it, but I hope it will work. I um, can't remember how many hauls ago it was now, but I got a, like a chalkboard for like a Wi-Fi password, and it came with pieces, uh, pieces of chalk. But I thought using this would just be a little bit more cleaner. So I think I will try that. And then, because I'm still in that section, <laughs> I picked up some embroidery thread. This came with five different um, little, like, is this a skein? Or is it too little? I don't know. <laughs> skein, I think it's a skein of yarn, right? I don't know if it's a skein of thread. Uh, but I went ahead and picked these up. Like I said, five for a dollar. I really like these uh, colors, and again, I'm trying to trying to do new things in my DIY sort of repertoire, and embroidery is one of them. I used to use these uh, this embroidery thro thread floss thread. Uh, I used to use these like growing up as a kid all the time to make uh, friendship bracelets. And so I'm actually trying my hand at like embroidery <laughs> now. Um, but I thought for a dollar I would try with these and then if I wanted to invest more in, you know, more floss then I would go and do so. But I would try these first. And then I found these and I found them in different sections. So I found some of these in the 
garden section and then some of them in the crafter section but to me they were all pearls and I could use them um, I've been making jewelry and jewelry like accessory accents forever <laughs> it seems like I used to sell them in school to my friends um, and I thought these would be nice too for like DIY projects so I got this 80 count pearls these are 10 millimeter and they had different shades of pearls if you know what I'm talking about they have some that were like more white some that were more ivory uh, they even had some that had like a pink cast to them if you will so um, I tried to get all of the same shade just because it was the shade I preferred so I got these and then I got this now these don't sell say what sizes they are but you can kind of just tell these it says they are a hundred and thirty five piece set and I thought those just looked really nice and again they kind of like this came in from the floral department right and then these came from the crafter square but they are they're like almost identical right they're the same shade and then these are kind of the lone wolf so if these were like the ivory the first two that I showed you these were like the white white but they're the same as that last pack I just showed you get 135 pieces and again I'll try to take pictures of all these things so you can really see them but you know if you can kind of see the shading difference there you kind of know what I'm talking about like I always think of this one as like a bright white and then this one is like the ivory white or like a champagne white that's just my way of describing them but <laughs> it works for me so as I continued to meander down the crafting aisle I came across a few other things um, that I thought I would try out I found this three piece three size multi-pack pop dot tape um, show you what it looks like there and then you can kind of see the different thick sizes the different <laughs> sizes or thicknesses of the tapes they had um, I think these might come in really handy for scrapbooking I'm trying to get better at doing that uh, but just some DIY things as well so I went ahead and picked that up and then I thought these were really neat um, I have some magnetic tape but it's it doesn't stick great all the time so I went ahead and picked up these magnetic buttons I thought they'd be great for so again some DIYs um, that I have in mind so I went ahead and picked those up they come in a 14 piece set and they are nice and sturdy <laughs> I'll say that much at least they're heavy and then I kind of got lost in <laughs> the ribbon section if you know what I'm talking about hopefully your Dollar Tree is set up in a very similar um, way as mine I found this really pretty like um, just mermaid ribbon is what it's called um, but I thought that was just really pretty I tend to do my guest bathroom and my guest room in sort of like a beach nautical mermaidy style during the summer and I thought that would be really pretty for some accents I love this like it's got the blues that are very prominent but you also have some of the purples and the pinks on that one so really pretty might snag some of that and make a uh, hair accessory as well for myself but I got that one and then I have been waiting to find these <laughs> And so when I found them, I got every color that I possibly could. It's the faux leather ribbon. I'm sure people have seen others haul these. I just got every one that I could possibly find. Uh, this one is like, I guess it's more like a, a burgundy or maroon, if you will. This one is a silver, or I guess you could say gunmetal, platinum, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one is like a dark almost chocolate brown and then you have a light more tan brown for this one and then this one is just a white I saw these and I thought of just so many different things from hair accessories jewelry to DIYs I, I'm just looking so forward to using these I cannot even tell you but I'm excited and then I haven't tried these out before I know other people have used them 
but again I have a couple of like DIY things in mind and I needed like a larger quantity of paint and didn't want to buy like you know the little little ones that you typical typically get at like um, what are they called Apple Apple something or you know what I'm talking about like the smaller versions I didn't want to get that and so I found these this praying ready to use temp tempera paint tempera paint I don't know how you say that um, it says it's washable and layerable which I guess is a good thing you get eight ounces of it, it says it's washable from skin and most clothing so that's always <laughs> a plus for me I got this sort of a chocolatey brown color um, I'm actually thinking of like thinning it out um, to kind of almost make like a stainish kind of thing if again that makes any sense and then I also got this white I thought the white might be good for like a good primer base again I haven't used this brand I'm very curious as if, if it's a good brand but I thought since you got so much for a dollar I would go ahead and try it I have never seen this in the store of course I've never looked at it or looked for it before in like a Walmart or a Target or a big box store so I'm not sure about the pricing on that one but you're there you see it you get it right <laughs> that's kind of the thing and then the very last thing that I have sort of in that crafting woodworking section again mine are all kind of set up to where like everything's kind of on top of each other so I don't know how everybody's store is um, I found these little uh, what are they calling them like a wooden tray is what they're called like if you know what I'm talking about like they had other ones that kind of had like a curve to them but I really liked these I had been waiting and waiting and waiting for my stores to get them and they finally did and I have a really cute uh, DIY idea for my kitchen that I'm going to do I ended up getting three of them there they are um, and so looking forward to using these in a DIY if I ever have a mind I will film it <laughs> and share it with you guys but again I just thought these were really nice um, I mean are they perfect no but is anything in life no um, but again for a dollar I think these are a really good deal so I don't think it's a craft haul if I don't finish with a wall art <laughs> sign that I find um, or I think these are called wall creations Sarah get it right um, I picked up two Main Street wall creations these were new to me uh, at least this first one was it says do not worry about anything instead pray about everything and just thought that was really nice I like the um, sprigs of floral here coming out of the banner Thought that would be really pretty and definitely uh, something I need to keep in mind I tend to be a worry wart <laughs> if you uh, remember that old turn of phrase um, and so I thought that would be really something I needed in my life and then as I'm redoing the bathroom that's a whole nother story situation that guest bathroom that's a story for another day um, but I found these these I don't think are new but I found them it's these um, sort of silhouettes of different things that you would have in a bathroom or a restroom if you will and the first one says always wash your hands flush the toilet close the lid floss and brush your teeth and I just thought those were really cute um, thought about making some wall art with these um, and I really like that they have sort of the metallic they're black and white but they have these metallic accents if you can sort of see there in the pump and then the um, like the toothpaste and the toothbrush there so I just thought those would be really cute and would go well with my decor so looking forward to using both of those in some upcoming DIYs okay that's it for today I hope you all enjoyed this craft themed Dollar Tree haul um, as I said if you see these items in your store and you really think that you want them you better go ahead and grab them they go fast just like anything else off the shelves at Dollar Tree so I would go ahead and pick them up if you are interested if you like this video go ahead and like this video we'd appreciate it also if you want to see more videos like this one you can go ahead and subscribe and become a member of our penny pinching family we would love to have you 
with that, I'm going to say goodbye for today, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.